destroy all monsters. The film story features aliens known as Kilks, who have released the giant monsters from Monster Land and have planted mind control devices on the monsters to control them. The monsters are eventually freed from the mind control, which leads the aliens to release King Ghidorah from space to challenge them. The film was written by Honda and Takashi Kimura who introduced the concept of Monster Island into the Godzilla film series. The film featured some complete new costumes for monsters such as Godzilla and some that were altered since their appearance in previous films. The film was released in Japan on August 1, 1968. At the close of the 20th century, all of the Earth's kaiju have been collected by the United Nations Science Committee and confined in an area known as Monsterland, located in the Agasawara Island chain. A special control center is constructed underneath the island to ensure that the monsters stay secure and to survey a research facility to study them. When communications with Monsterland are suddenly and mysteriously severed, and all of the monsters begin attacking world capitals, Dr. Yoshida of the UNSC orders Captain Yamab and the crew of his spaceship, Moonlight SY-3, to investigate Agasawara. There, they discover that the scientists, led by Dr. Otani, have become mind-controlled slaves of a feminine alien race identifying themselves as the Kilks, who reveal that they are in control of the monsters. Their leader demands that the human race surrender, or face total annihilation. Godzilla attacks New York City, Rodan invades Moscow, Mothra, a larva offspring, lays waste to Beijing, Gorosaurus destroys Paris, and Manda attacks London. These attacks were set into motion to draw attention away from Japan so that the aliens can establish an underground stronghold near Mount Dot Fuji in Japan. The Kulks then turn their next major attack onto Tokyo and, without serious opposition, become arrogant in their aims until the UNSC discover, after recovering the Kilk's monster mind control devices from around the world, that they have switched to broadcasting the control signals from their base under the moon's surface. In a desperate battle, the crew of the SY-3 destroys the Kilk's lunar outpost and returns the alien control system to Earth. With all of the monsters under the control of the UNSC, the Kulks unleash their hidden weapon, King Ghidorah. The three-headed space monster is dispatched to protect the alien stronghold at Mount Fuji, and battles Godzilla, Manila, Mothra, Rodan, Gorosaurus, Anguirus, and Kumanga. While seemingly invincible, King Ghidorah is eventually overpowered by the combined strength of the Earth monsters and is killed. Refusing to admit defeat, the Kulks produce their trump card a burning monster they call the Fire Dragon, which begins to torch Tokyo and destroys the control center on Agasawara. Suddenly, Godzilla attacks and destroys the Kilik's underground base, revealing that the Earth's monsters instinctively know who their enemies are. Captain Yamab then pursues the Fire Dragon in the SY-3 and narrowly achieves victory for the human race. The Fire Dragon is revealed to be a flaming Kilik saucer and is destroyed. Godzilla and the other monsters eventually return to Monsterland to live in peace. Per the waning popularity of the Godzilla series, special effects director Sadamasa Arikawa noted that Toho were going to potentially end the Godzilla series as producer Tanaka figured that all the ideas had just run out. The film was written by Takashi Kimura and Ishiro Honda, making it the first Godzilla film since Godzilla Raids Again not written by Shinichi Skazawa. Takashi Kimura is credited to the pen name Kaoru Mabuchi in the film's credits. Kimura and Honda's script developed the concept of Monsterland, referred to as Monster Island in future films. As the films has several monsters who continuously return in the films, the location was developed to as a faraway island where the monsters are pacified. This tied other films not related to the Godzilla series within its universe, as creatures such as Manda, from Atragon and Varan, Varan the Unbelievable, exist. The film features footage from Ghidorah, the three headed monster. 1964, specifically King Ghidorah's fiery birth scene. New monster suits for Godzilla and Anguirus were constructed for the film, while Rodan and King Ghidorah suits were modified from previous films, with King Ghidorah having less detail than he had in previous films. Destroy All Monsters was released in Japan on August 1, 1968 where it was distributed by Toho. It was released on a double bill with a reissue of the film Atragon. The film was reissued theatrically in Japan in 1972 where it was re-edited by Honda to a 74-minute running time and released with title Gojira, Dengeki Teisakusen, Godzilla, Lightning Fast Strategy. Destroy All Monsters continued the decline in ticket sales in Japan for the Godzilla series, earning 2.6 million in ticket sales. In comparison, 
Invasion of Astro Monster brought in 3.8 million and Son of Godzilla collected 2.5 million. The film was released in the United States by American International Pictures with an English language dub on May 23, 1969. The film premiered in the United States in Cincinnati. American International Pictures hired Titra Sound to dub the film into English. The American version of the film remains relatively close to the Japanese original. Among the more notable removed elements include Akira I. Fukub's title theme and a brief shot of Manila shielding his eyes when King Ghidorah drops on Guiris from the sky. Destroy All Monsters was shown on American television until the early 1980s. It resurfaced on cable broadcast on the Sci-Fi Channel in 1996. Destroy All Monsters was released on VHS by Adverb Films in 1998 which featured English dub dialogue from Toho's own international version of the film. In 2011, Tokyo Shock released the film on DVD and Blu-ray and in 2014 the company re-released it on DVD and Blu-ray. From Contemporary Reviews both Variety and Monthly Film Bulletin noted the film's best scenes involve the monsters together, while criticizing the filmmaking. Variety reviewed the English-dubbed version of the film stating that it may appeal to sci-fi addicts and monster fans while stating that the plot is on comic strip level, special effects depend on obvious miniatures and acting, human, is from School of Flash Gordon and that the film's strength relied on its monster rally. The Monthly Film Bulletin opined that the model work is poor and as usual the script is junior comic strip. Both reviews mentioned the monster's final scene with Variety commenting that it was clever in the monthly film bulletin stating that apart from the monster's statutory devastation of world capitals, the monsters have disappointingly little to do until they get together in the last reel for a splendid battle the monthly film bulletin commented that the film was almost worth sitting through the banalities for the final confrontation on Mount Fuji noting Son of Godzilla and daringly applauding from a safe distance and the victorious monsters performing a celebratory J. From retrospective reviews, Steve Biodrowski of Cine Fantastic commented that the film is too slim in its storyline, too thin in its characterizations, to be considered a truly great film but for the ten-year-old living inside us all, it is entertainment of the most awesome sort. Matt Paprotsky of Blog Critics said the film is far from perfect and can be downright boring at times but felt that the destruction scenes make up for everything else and the final battle is an epic that simply can't be matched. Godzilla director Gareth Edwards has expressed an interest in making a sequel to his 2014 movie inspired by Destroy All Monsters. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.